I'm doing some mode management around the horse stables. We'll have a list in the description below of all of the items I have used and of course all of the quantities. I will be using light foot mud matting as a matrix to hold the gravel in position. If you are interested in how this stuff works out, please fire away in the comments below. I've hand dug a four inch wide trench that's about two and a half feet deep to accommodate the ag pipe. I'm using a reasonably heavy gauge weed matting to line the trench to try and avoid silt buildup. This would work much better if you had a machine dug trench that was a little wider and deeper and you could put more gravel in it, but I'm working with what I have. The ultimate goal is to create as much surface area of weed matting as possible to improve drainage and filtration of the silt through the weed mat and gravel mechanism. I also have the gutter down pipes for the barn feeding directly into the ag pipe to hopefully keep a, a general flow through the pipe, removing any silt buildup in the bottom. This setup will also allow me to jet rod clean the pipe should it get filled with silt. Obviously, if you have decent fall on your horse paddock, then you will not require any of this solution. My barn is built in a slight depression, which allows the water to build up and stay stagnant in this area. So all this extra drainage improves the water flow and removes the potential mud buildup. I also have the horse's water trough positioned over this part of the drain to help remove water that comes from the water trough itself. I'm also spreading weed mat over the area I intend to cover with the light foot matrix. This is required to help the matrix work properly. At about $200 a panel, these light foot matrices are very expensive. I'm going to try and get away with four panels for the main traffic areas and they simply get staked out into position until they are backfilled with gravel. They're zip tied together and I have positioned the zip tie so that the union is at the bottom of the matrix. This should minimise the zip ties being broken by a stray horse hoof. The matrices also join together quite well perpendicularly. However, I've made a point not to tighten the zip ties too tight along this join simply to allow for a little more movement as I'm pouring the gravel. I reckon you need at least 8 to 10 stakes per panel if you're planning this job out. And spread the gravel evenly and light at first so as not to deform the matrixy as you are pouring. I've used 20 yards of 5 8 crush bluestone gravel to complete this job. And I've also spread the gravel well beyond the borders of the matrix so that the matrix does not collapse over time. The horses will make a mess of this compacted surface in a matter of minutes, but it gives me peace of mind that the matrix is compacted and filled with gravel. Thanks for watching guys.